Hello, and welcome to this demonstration on how to bypass two-factor authentication on Outlook Web Access portals. Um, to start out, you can see that we've got a pretty standard Outlook Web App portal here that is uh, publicly available on the internet, as you would see in most uh, organizations. Um, and let's go ahead and log in with an account that is set up with two-factor authentication just to validate that the account indeed is protected with two-factor auth. Um, so I'm going to type in Vladdy at eldershogun.com and log in. Now, once you've submitted the initial uh, authentication portion, it will redirect you to the two-factor piece, which in this specific example, we are using Duo Security's uh, Duo for Outlook. Um, so in the event that I was an attacker that had gained access to credentials, at this point, if I did not have the phone that was connected to Duo, I would not be able to get into OA. Um, but what I will show you is that very often on Outlook portals and Exchange in general, um, there's a service called Exchange Web Services that is enabled by default. And if you have it, if you have your Exchange server publicly facing, this web service is also publicly facing. So specifically, exchange.asmx. If you if you go to this URL on your Outlook Web Access portal, um, it's uh, your your mail server slash ews slash exchange.asmx. If you go to that site, yes, the SSL is not valid. Um, if you go to that site, it will prompt you for authentication. Now, this particular authentication is not protected by the two-factor authentication that uh, Duo is covering on the Outlook Web Access Portal. The Duo uh, two-factor is just strictly covering the Outlook Web App Portal, uh, strictly so that you could log into the GUI and view emails. But uh, Exchange Web Services has the, um, the same ability to search through emails, but only um, requires a single factor. So let's go ahead and cancel that because uh, in order to connect to EWS, you actually have to talk to an API, which requires a little bit of uh, work. But what I've done um, is with my mail sniper tool, which I released at DerbyCon, um, at DerbyCon 6 uh, this year, we are able to connect to uh, Exchange Web Services and actually read emails. So let me demonstrate that for you right now. So powershell.exe dash exec bypass. And we're going to import the mail sniper module, which is available on GitHub, by the way. Um, and we're going to run uh, invoke self search. So invoke self search just searches the uh, specific one specific user's mailbox. Um, in order to do this, we've got to specify the mailbox we want to search, which you know, um, as we demonstrated before, we have the credentials of Vladdy at eldershogun.com. Um, and we're going to uh, also specify the exchange host name so that mail sniper knows where to connect to so this is going to be your where your wherever your uh, outlook web access portal is located um, and then an additional tag so that we can do this over the internet um, is just dash remote so dash remote basically um, instead of using the current user's credentials uh, that you're logged into the command terminal as it will actually pop up a little a little uh, a, a box that basically asks for your credentials to log in remotely over the internet so let's run this You'll see our credential box has now popped up. Let's go ahead and type in Vladdy's credentials. And something to keep in mind here is that this, this specific credential is uh, basically an AD credential. So um, in some environments, the depending on how they set up the UPNs on the internal network, uh, the email address might actually work. In other cases, you might actually have to use domain slash username uh, of the user that you have credentials for. And once the credentials have been entered, it will connect to Exchange Web Services on the mail server and completely bypassing the two-factor authentication, uh, protecting uh, the OA portal with Duo. Um, and now it will actually search the mailbox um, of that user with specific terms that you would like to search. Um, by default, Mail Sniper just looks for password, creds, and credentials. Um, but you could specify pretty much anything you want there. If you wanted to pull back all the all the mails, you could do um, uh, parenthesis or uh, Quotes, star quote. Um, oh, here we go. It's back. So you can see that we were able to actually grab a few mails from the user's inbox that included the the term password, creds, or credentials. So um, you can see here we got sender, receiver, subject, and then also the body. Um, so again, this is without two factor or with a user with two factor authentication. We are now able to read their emails through Exchange Web Services, completely bypassing two factor auth.